Hello and welcome to Runkle of the Bailey. My name is Ian Runkle. I'm a Canadian criminal defense and firearms lawyer. So I recently saw a headline that says Conservative MP's bill on violence against pregnant women revives abortion debate. And so I thought, let's look into this. What's going on with this? Now, that article points out that uh, Justice Minister David Lametti has been very vocal about this bill on Twitter. He went and said the following. He said, the Conservatives are promoting a bill that will not only make pregnant women less safe, but is actually attempting to restrict the right to choose. Having an abortion is legal in this country, protected by the Charter. Shameful that the Conservatives would think otherwise. He also retweeted another Liberal Party member who said this. The right to choose should not be politicized. Let's stop making these personal choices a debate. The Conservatives want to debate. Canadians don't. A woman's right to choose belongs to her and her alone. Hashtag Bill C311. So it's very clear that they're saying, hey, this is a bill about abortion. This is, you know, a, a restriction on abortion. So let's have a look at this because I thought, you know, let's actually look at the text of this to see if the Liberal Party is being honest about this. Because quite frankly, they love to run this line as an election strategy. So let's look at what the bill actually says. Okay, so Bill C-311, an act to amend the criminal code, brackets, violence against pregnant women. The preamble is, whereas Parliament wishes to denounce and deter violence against pregnant women by explicitly including pregnancy as an aggravating circumstance for the purpose of sentencing. What does it mean to be an aggravating circumstance? Well, that makes it more serious and requires a stronger punishment. So this is something that will increase the punishment that somebody gets for committing a, a particular offense. So what it, does it do? Well, the first part says what it can be cited as, and the second part says what it actually does. It's going to amend the criminal code by adding the following to the particular section that describes things that the court must treat as aggravating. So first, evidence that the offender in committing the offense abused a person whom the offender knew to be pregnant, or evidence that the offense caused physical or emotional harm to a pregnant victim. So, um, that's all there is to it. It's not a long bill. This is a really short bill. And I'm going to tell you, it's not going to go anywhere. This is a private member's bill. And in Canada, those basically never go anywhere. So it's unlikely this is going to actually turn into anything. And this is also a dumb bill, and I'll explain why. But first, let's go back to those tweets and just determine if they're actually being honest. So we have here, you know, it says, that will not only make pregnant women less safe. How is it going to do that exactly? I mean, normally when we increase punishment, that's for the purpose of deterring violence against somebody. I'm not seeing it. Um, and is attempting to restrict the right to choose? I don't see it in here either. There's nothing here that in any way restricts that whatsoever. And when we look at the other tweet here that, uh, you know, bringing that one up again, um, they say, the right to choose should not be politicized. Let's stop making these personal choices a debate. So politicized, like being deceptive about what's actually in the bill, that kind of politicization, is that what you're saying we shouldn't be doing? Because that's what it feels like is going on here. So yeah, I mean, now I said that I thought that this was a dumb bill and I'll explain why. Um, you don't need a bill to say, hey, this is going to be something that the courts need to treat more seriously because they already treat it more seriously. They already treat it as an aggravating factor if you assault a pregnant woman. There is no circumstance where the court is like, oh, you punched a pregnant woman. Well, we don't really consider that to be relevant. Or where they say, oh, well, that's mitigating. That'll mean you get less of a sentence. This never happens. In all circumstances where somebody offends against a pregnant woman, the court already treats that as really super serious. So this bill is a complete waste of time. But 
And I would say that it's the kind of thing that's getting in the way of Parliament spending time on more useful things. But I've seen what Parliament does lately, and none of what they're doing is a good idea. So maybe a distraction isn't so bad. Maybe, in fact, we should hire somebody to stand in Parliament and jingle some keys at them to distract them, to keep them from all the other things they're up to, like Bill C-11 and C-21 and so forth. Um, maybe we need an official parliamentary jiggler of the keys. Yeah, I. this whole thing is frustrating because it's a dumb bill, but they're also not being honest about it. And frankly, if the Minister of Justice can't be honest about a bill to amend the criminal code, well, that's really concerning. So, and it's frustrating because quite frankly, I think Canadians deserve a government that is better than what we're getting right now. It's just ridiculous. So, thank you for watching. I really didn't plan to make this video, but I had a whole bunch of people asking me questions. And when I looked into it, I was like, this is stupid. This is really dumb. The whole fight over this is dumb. Um, it's just maddening. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you found this to be interesting or educational. I also want to thank my Patreon supporters at the $50 level, CCFR, Canada's National Firearms Association, and the Canadian Shooting Sports Association. At the $30 level, Sights and Arms Limited and Jane Babe and Luxor. And at the $20 level, Lindsay Metcalf, Kyle Fox, Haywire, Gerald to the Bailey, Cameron Johnson, Andrew Elsich, uh, Vicky, and Brigitte uh, Edrup. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this has armed you with knowledge. See you next time.